Welcome to Simply Logical. This is Swing Dash. A duck that is being chased by a fox saves itself by sitting at the center of circular pond of radius r. The duck can fly from land but cannot fly from the water. Furthermore, the fox cannot swim. The fox is four times faster than the duck. Assuming that the duck and fox are perfectly smart, is it possible for the duck to ever reach the edge of the pond and fly away to its escape from the ground? Let me repeat the puzzle. A duck that is being chased by a fox saves itself by sitting at the center of circular pond of radius r. The duck can fly from land but cannot fly from the water. Furthermore, the fox cannot swim. The fox is four times faster than the duck. Assuming that the duck and fox are perfectly smart, is it possible for the duck to ever reach the edge of the pond and fly away to its escape from the ground? Feel free to pause the video and try yourself before checking the solution. Let's everyone know your answer in the comment section. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel for the newest videos watching. Let's check the solution now. This is not a simple mathematical puzzle to solve like normal common problems. Fox in this puzzle is too fast and clever for any normal and simple strategy. One would think that the duck could swim directly away from the fox, so the duck would have to swim a distance r. The fox would have to cover off the circumference of the pond that is pi r. Pi r because the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, but here fox has to cover off the circumference, hence distance becomes pi r. But this strategy won't work, since the fox is four times faster than the duck. We know that the value of pi is 3.14, thus pi into r. This is the distance which should be covered by the fox, whereas 4 into r is the distance to be covered by duck. But as we know that since the value of pi is 3.14, pi r is less than 4 into r. Hence in this strategy, by the time duck swims to near the land, fox would have already reached which puts duck into danger. This would make it seem like it is impossible for the duck to escape, but there is a way to escape. So how could the duck make life more difficult for the fox? If the duck just tries to swim along a radius, the fox could just sit along the radius and the duck would continue to be trapped. Logic is, the duck could swim in concentric circles so that the fox has to continuously run along the circumference of the pond to stay on the same radius as the duck. If the duck swims near the edge of the pond, the fox could easily keep up since they would be covering approximately the same distance and the fox is four times faster. But what if the duck swam closer to the center of the pond? The duck would have to cover a smaller circumference in this case and could use this strategy to put some distance between the fox and itself. Consider at a distance of r by 4 from the center of the pond, the circumference of the pond is exactly four times the circumference of the duck's path. Because we have considered the distance is r by 4 where r is the radius. Let the duck rotate around the pond in a circle of radius r by 4. Now fox and duck will take exact same time to make a full circle because the fox is 4 times the speed of the duck. So at a distance of r by 4 from the center of the pond, the circumference of the pond is exactly 4 times the circumference of the duck's path. Thus, to stay on the same radius as the duck, the fox would barely keep up. Now, reduce the radius the duck is circling by a very small amount. Now the fox will lag behind, it cannot stay at a position as well. Say the duck circles the pond at a distance r by 4 minus e, where e is an infinitesimal amount. So as the duck continues to swim along this radius, it would slowly gain some distance over the fox. Once the duck is able to gain 180 degrees over the fox, the duck would have to cover a distance of 3r by 4 plus e 
to reach the edge of the pond. So why 3R by 4 plus E? This is because the duck is already at the distance R by 4 minus E. So the distance what it has to cover to reach the land is 3R by 4 which is the remaining distance plus E which is an infinite simul amount. So in the meanwhile, the fox would have to cover off the circumference of the pond, that is the 180 degrees at that point. So here since pi r, which is a distance to be covered by the fox, is greater than 4 into 3 r by 4 plus e, which is a distance to be covered by duck in the same time, since pi r, which is distance to be covered by fox, is greater than 4 into 3 r by 4 plus e which is a distance to be covered by duck so as we clearly see that the time taken by a duck to reach the land is greater than the time taken by a fox to reach the duck at that particular point of time so that's the reason the duck will reach the land and it will fly and escape so in this way the duck would be able to make it to land and fly away so this is a fantastic puzzle if you have not understood the solution please watch it again this requires a thorough understanding of the problem in order to understand how this particular solution works that's all for this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i will try to answer as soon as possible if you are finding difficult to understand any puzzles please share me the puzzle in the comment section i will try to explain the puzzle in a very simple way let's meet in the next video thanks for watching and thank you for your support